in the process and working on models and uh, literally physically working on models with the OMA team, uh, I started to really understand the building. A very uh, uh, kind of unfolding uh, volume with very irregular shapes in which actually uh, skin folds around it and the skin is the structure and everywhere where it folds there was actually a floor. So I could imagine the landscape, well landscape is a big word, we use landscape but it's actually outside space, right, public space. And so we could imagine that almost literally the landscape could be built up of carpets, of green, and that these carpets could enter and become actually also um, part of the landscape inside. So we presented this idea of these carpets with images of flowers or plants. We thought it was important to use local plantings and not very urban plantings, so sort of wild, you know, grasses that would move in the wind like the sea, which was very near, um, and then move in and become textile gardens that would lead you through um, the building and then would end on top of the roof. I don't think that last step happened, but that was the idea, that we had a roof garden as well. So then we uh, started to find the right techniques to translate our conceptual idea into a real project carpet, because as in every public building, and we're used to that, of course, everything has to be fireproof, um, wear and tear resistant, you have to be able to clean it, it has to be anti-static, well, everything has to be perfect. Um, and if you come into that world of professional materials, the techniques are, are very modern, but they are also limiting you. So, for instance, you can't use any color and you can only use a certain amount of colors. So we had to translate our photo, um, uh, photo technique, let's say, back to eight or twelve basic colors. And in those colors, I think it took us two and a half years to find the right uh, way of representing this nature in a certain scale so that you had really still the idea that they were plants and that it has a three-dimensionality to it, you know, the illusion of depth and light and, and vegetal and not just a pattern. And what was interesting is, of course, the scale of the architecture and these enormous uh, structures, but also the, the, the largeness of the image uh, made everything look elegant made everything look small and playful. So that was an important effect.